And now to talk about our module of the week, let's turn it over to Martin Anderson Klutz, a senior solutions engineer at Acquia and a maintainer of a number of Drupal modules and recipes of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. Have you ever wanted to make it easy for visitors to your Drupal site to get directions to a location via Google Maps? There's a location or there's a module for that. It's called Geofield Directions, and it was created in February 2021 by Christopher Martin, who goes by CCJJ Martin. The recent releases are by Alan Chappell, who goes by General Redneck. It has a 1.0.1 version available, which is compatible with Drupal 8.8, 9, 10, and 11, according to Drupal.org. It is also officially listed as minimally maintained and maintenance fixes only, although, again, it is Drupal 11 ready. It does have security and test coverage, but doesn't have a lot in the, the way of documentation, not even a readme within the project. It has one open issue, which is not a bug, and is currently in use by 26 sites, according to Drupal.org. Now, the module provides a new field formatter so you can install it and then update a view mode to use geofield directions. Now, your content display will include a link to get directions via Google Maps. You can configure the text of the link, whether the link should open in a new tab, the magnification of the destination map, and more. The module also includes token support so you can dynamically include things like the name of the location in the link text. I think the only downside I can see for this module is that because it's implemented as a formatter, you have to choose between the directions link or a map where I can see a number of sites wanting to be able to show both of those. But let's go ahead and talk about geofield directions. I actually have a question in regards to this module because um, being the public transit agency that we are, does it offer the opportunity for transit directions? I would assume that that's probably dependent on whether or not Google has transit directions in, you know, wherever the user is getting directions. Certainly most of the places I've traveled, I would say that's the case, but I'm not sure if that, how universally that's true. I think we'll yeah. have to check that out because we've been providing our transit data to Google since roughly 2008. Oh, wow. I, I, I have to be honest. I don't think it does because the description does say that it's a single point. So it's probably more like you can say, here's our store. And then there's a, a an easy link to click on to get there okay. um, rather than a route. I, I assume the transit directions is more about a full route, right? Well, it would be a it would be routing on transit, but if it needs to involve multiple modes of transit to get there, it can certainly support that. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think this module handles that, but I'd be interested to know. Question, and this might kind of, kind of piggybacks off of Mike's question, or maybe it, it <clears> helps <throat> to answer it. But like, it's a field formatter. Great. What's the input to the field? Is it a link to the directions page? So, okay. So what it does, it's it's basically a formatter for a geo field, right? So it's, uh, you know, latitude and longitude coordinates. Okay. And then what it'll do is it'll put those into a link to a Google map. So it basically, the link... Uh, so the, the latitude and longitude go into a URL that when you click on it, tells Google Maps, hey, plot a, um, you know, give me directions from where I, I am to this, you know, geo point. Okay, and then so can... it's using current, current location. Exactly. Or you can, I'm sure, override that once you get there to say from a specific, you know, beginning Got point. It. So if it doesn't allow in the settings to, for you to say <clears throat> transit, transit directions, I'm sure there is a URL parameter that Google will take to show you transit directions. So maybe oh, yeah. maybe somebody could develop a patch for that and add a little checkbox um, to the back end. That's interesting. Hey, I'm look, sorry. I was... have a to do item. There What's you go. That? Look at look at that. We've already put you to work, and you, <laughs> you've only been here for five minutes. Um, in my head, I was thinking like, how does it know where I am? What if I want mm -hmm. directions between two different points? And I, I was overcomplicating, but um, that makes a lot more sense. This has a dependency on the uh, geofield module then? 
Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It depends yeah. on the geofield module. And, um, you know, to your point, uh, John, I'm pretty sure Google almost all the time knows exactly where you are anyway. Just like, <laughs> you know, if you're an iOS user, Apple probably does, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was more thinking like sometimes when, and this is more me than maybe anybody else, or maybe other people do this too, but like before I'm traveling to a place, I'll look up places around. And I'm like, oh, how far from my hotel is it? So it's never like I erase current location and I always type in whatever the location is. So it's yeah. never, you know, it's never like from my, well, it's, I won't say never, but um, anyway, that's more a me problem than a you problem. Yeah, I did also want to mention that one of the other configuration options is called HTML attributes. And it's possible that if there is just a parameter that you need to pass for it to sort of default to public transit as the mm -hmm. the method that it's going to use for providing the directions, that you uh, might be able to even just put it into the configuration there. Okay. Uh, interesting. Oh, interesting. I, I think we're going to have something to play with. <laughs> it's funny because I envisioned when I when you first mentioned this module as the module of the week, I actually envisioned it adding the directions to your website as opposed to like linking off to them. But I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think I kinda... the issue I think the issue with adding the directions in is that would require API level access, and Google has gotten a little more strict about their API usage. Yeah. I was also thinking like usability for a user when you try to embed Google stuff into your site is not always the greatest user experience. So the link off yeah. is probably, probably nicer. Cleaner. Yeah. 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 So we'll be interested, interested to hear uh, your guys' perspective once you've used this, like feel free to reach out and let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll give a quick shout out to our listeners so they can hear how you used it. Great. Thank you. And thank you, Martin, as always, an on-topic module of the week. How can folks connect with you or suggest a module of the week? We are always happy to get nominations for module of the week in the Talking Drupal channel of Drupal Slack, or folks can reach out to me directly as Manclue on all of the Drupal and social channels.